Hey, hey, Ant here. I just wanted to give an update and let you guys know that I am actually out here in Tennessee. I've been here for the last week and I'm going to be going back home at the end of this week. With that being said, I have not been very good on my diet. Uh, it usually happens when I come out here and travel, especially in the South, because, uh, you know, I love food. Um, it is what it is. I knew that um, it'd be tough to try and stay on my cut while I'm out here. Um, but with that being said, it's been about six or seven days since we got here and um, I want to turn over a new leaf. OK, so I'm going to be here for like the next five days. I'm going to be doing my first weigh in on Friday. So I'm going to start buckling down. I'm going to start um, eating right. I'm going to start doing my cardio after my weightlifting sessions, etc., cetera, et cetera. But before that, before today ends, I wanted to do a kind of like cheat meal thing since, you know, I'm going to be going straight edge starting at the beginning of uh, tomorrow. So I wanted to make something really good. Okay, so um, I've actually been fantasizing about this dessert. What if you took a cookie and you put it inside of a cinnamon roll? Now, I don't mean like put the circular cookie like in the middle of the cinnamon roll, but instead unravel the cinnamon roll and then flatten a piece of cookie, a raw cookie, put it on the inside, roll it back up and then eat that. But what would make that even better is if you smoked it, huh? I basically have um, these cinnamon rolls I bought at Walmart. It's like the Grand's, um, you know, Cinnabon version of cinnamon roll and the Dunkaroo limited edition cookie. So the thought is that I'll put the sugar Dunkaroo cookie inside of the cinnamon roll. And then at the end, I'll put the icing from the cinnamon roll and also the icing from the Dunkaroo and kind of crisscross it and then eat that together. And I think it's going to be really good. And like I said, the coup de gras is that this is all going to be smoked. So my father-in-law has a pellet grill. He has a Traeger 780 and I'm going to be using that to cook it. So it's going to have a nice smoky wood flavor along with all this like disgusting sugar. It's going to be fantastic. So let's do it. Okay. So we're really taking this step by step. So the first thing I'm going to do is open these cinnamon rolls and I'm going to deconstruct them. I'm going to take each cinnamon roll out and I'm going to lay out each one completely unrolled and then we'll move on to the sugar cookie portion. So as you can see, the sugar cookies are kind of like in a shape that makes you wonder how the heck am I going to put these inside of the cinnamon roll? So basically I have this um, rolling pin. I'm gonna do is I'm basically gonna take this, make a huge like ball kind of thing like that. And then basically I'm just gonna flatten it out. So the dough is a lot stickier than I actually thought it would be. Um, I could put flour on the surface However, I'm a lazy guy and this is all very experimental. So um, I'm just gonna roll with the punches. Okay, so the dirty work is done. So now all we have to do is fire up the Traeger. beautiful Dunkaroo cookie cinnamon roll smoked to perfection. All right. I can't wait any longer. I got to try this thing. All right, here goes. Mm. Wow. Mm. All right, I know I ate that like an absolute savage, okay? And I'm not gonna lie, that was really, really good. One thing I'll say is that the cookie dough was a little bit overpowering. So what I could have possibly done was maybe rolled out the cookie dough, 
baked it for a little bit and that way it stays in one cohesive shape and then basically put the half baked cookie inside of the cinnamon roll cooked it all together and then that way when it was done the whole thing would have been like cooked all the same but me i'm a huge fan of cookie dough ice cream and that's what that was very akin to was um you know the cookie dough bites in the ice cream i will say this as well i can't even taste the smoke flavor at all in this uh cinnamon roll so i mean uh, maybe I did it wrong or maybe there wasn't enough time for the cinnamon roll to absorb any smoke flavor but yeah just honestly speaking I don't see a difference in cooking it in the smoker so if you wanted to try something like this at home you could just throw it in your oven if you don't have a pellet smoker or any kind of smoker my wife's family's here they're gonna eat the rest of these I'm gonna wipe my hands clean I'm not eating anymore but thank you guys for joining in um, I will catch you guys on a much healthier recipe on the next one